Let's take a look at adding maps to the print layout with different projections now. I'm doing this with a globe map that I created in another video. The link's in the description. So I'll go to project a new print layout. I'll call it Norway and click OK. What I usually do here is I'll click the zoom full button so I can see the whole page. And before doing anything else, I usually right click on the print layout and hit page properties and make sure the page is the size I want it to be. At the moment it says A4, but I'm going to change this to 320 by 180. I usually do this for maps that I'm going to view on screen because that gives me an aspect ratio that fills a monitor or phone screen. I'm going to add the map now. So what I'll do is I'm going to add a globe over here and I'll click the move item content button and I'm going to position this and I'll, I'll use the scroll wheel with control held down to do a fine zoom. You can change the scale in the item properties manually anyway. So one thing you'll see here is the Norway labels disappear. That sometimes happens. If I was to switch back to the print layout and uh, the map canvas actually double click the layer go to labels and if I change the font size to 24 instead of 36 and then if I open up the print layout and hit refresh you get the label back sometimes the label disappears it moves outside the bounds of the box okay so I'll I'll click on this map item and I'll copy and replace it copy and paste it, sorry, control C, control V on Windows machine. Now I want this to take up most of this section of the page. And what I'm going to do here is let me expand the section on the right. And I'm going to go to make sure I'm selecting the right one. And then I'm going to use instead of the project CRS, I'm going to use a different one. And it's a Norwegian one that I chose. Now, if you can't, if you want to click on the little, little button to select CRS, you can search for projections there. But it's the Norway one. And then I'm just going to reposition using the move item content tool. And I'll just use my scroll wheel to zoom in, holding down control on my Windows machine like this. And I'll reposition it. Uh, I, I'm not worried about the labeling at the moment being in the wrong place. I'm not going to fix that now, but this is just to show you how you can have one map frame with one coordinate reference system, another one with a different one. And the last thing I'll do here, sometimes I like to do this, I'm going to add a shape, a rectangle. It's going to take up about that much of the screen. I'm going to make sure it fits the page. I'll go over to the right. I'll go to configure symbol. I'll do this to give myself more room. I'll click on simple fill. I will make the line transparent. I will click on simple fill and change it to gradient fill. I'm going to put the color ramp. I'm going to change the rotation to 90 degrees and I will scroll back up. I'll click the drop down at the end of the color ramp and I will change, I'll edit the color ramp. I'll make one end white. I'll make the other end white. I'll double click below the color ramp in the middle and at 50% I'll also make that white and the end point I will make completely transparent and I'll click OK. And there we get a fade out effect on the map. And that's a, just a, a useful little additional tip in print layouts if you want to combine things with multiple different projections.